What's up? Sweet Bonin here, and today we're talking about Farming Simulator 19 again. Yes, we are. Now, I can't decide what to have for breakfast. Um, I've been up all night logging, uh, and I'll show you the fruits of my labour shortly. It's 9.48am, and I have my game time set in real time, which is why I'm really getting a buzz from this game, because if I play for, say, six hours, it's still only going to be, like, what, from now? 4pm? Do you know what I mean? In-game. And you get charged your, your bank fees and your leasing costs at, at midnight every night. So I'm making the most of the time I've got to build and create the farm of my dreams. Um, but breakfast, yeah. I mean, all I've got is fruit fruit juice. Um, maybe, maybe we'll skip breakfast for today. Yeah, oh, oh, I keep standing on things. It's weird. Those of you who watch my videos, and there's very few of you, <laughs> um, yeah, all my eggs, I decided that I needed to profit from them, so I've been selling them, um, and I've installed a, a nice little mod, which I'll show you, which is so cool, it saves saves a bit of time anyway, and I've been investing in equipment, bale trailers for transporting bales, which I've sold quite a few, but I've still got some left, look, because I'm, I definitely want animals, um, and I'm going to use that, I hope, to, uh, as feed and bedding. But I invested in this trailer, and it, 31,000 litres. I just had my biggest haul of canola ever. I got paid 40,000 bucks by the restaurant for transporting 31,000 litres of canola seeds. And this is what's left. This is literally what's left. A barren field that's been harvested of canola. Um, and what I've decided to do, because I've been, I've literally been staying up all night, logging, 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 over there in the distance, if you see it behind those fantastic machine sheds that I've got, and they're mods as well. And, and I really enjoy putting those down because I didn't realise at first, the elevation height dictates whether you get a nasty concrete ramp and so on. So I did one and it was way, way too high. It was silly. It was like really raised up. And I realised, no, you can change the elevation height before you place it. So it was fun landscaping that area. Again, get to that in a bit. Um, but this is what I've been doing. It's not much I know compared to some people. But it's the farm of my dreams. And that's what I'm really digging about this game. Is that I can lose myself for hours at a time. Creating something. So as I said. Behind those machine sheds. You can see that sloping field. Believe it or not. That was a forest. That was a proper forest. And I have been benefiting big time. By logging all of that down. And selling it locally. And I discovered there's a barn just up there. I've been going to the sawmill at first, which is a bit of a trek. But that slope up there takes you to... Um, I forget what it's called. Let's bring the map up. It's the uh, biomass heating plant, I believe. Underneath where it says spinnery towards the bottom of that map. Um, but there's a barn there. Through, it's just up that slope. Uh, and they um, buy wood. Which is fantastic. I just go up the slope, sell my wood, come back down and carry on logging. Been doing that forever. Honestly, forever and ever and ever. Actually, let's get rid of these... Um, no, we'll keep that for a minute, actually, those controls. So what I've decided to do, because obviously money is in your crops. So before I begin another landscaping, let's start placing things and so on. I've got to get these crops down. So I've decided all of my fields, and that's one... Two, three, four, five. I've got, I've got about six, but I've created two or three myself, uh, and I've only bought one piece of land so far. So I've decided because I, I looked at the prices again. You can look at the prices and see what people are paying for um, crops, and I decided. Oh, look at this! Look at this! I love this! <laughs> I love this! This is this is what I use to plant sunflowers. It's fantastic. I absolutely love the mechanics of this thing. Um, so let's get into it. Let's step out a little bit. This this is what I like about this. Well, it's one of the many things I like. Watch this. Oh my word. Now, if that doesn't do anything for you, fine. You know, I, I'm not an engineer, mechanic. I know nothing about these things. But I just love the fact that it does what it does. <laughs> And it's ready to go, look, ready to plant these sunflowers. So, as I was saying, let's have a little look around. Uh, this is a great little mod that I found. Um, it's just a simple pallet. But you place it in the 
the grid, the grid, the zone, as you can see here, normally these boxes of eggs, one by one, just appear here as your chickens lay eggs. And again, as I've stated previously, not sure how they're boxed, but let's pretend somebody bought. I don't know I, who would bot one. It's just me. Maybe it's the roost. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, so instead of having singular boxes placed in this zone, and you have to pack, you know manually pick them up, put them indoors, put them on the back of your truck, whatever. You just put two of these pallets down. You could have one if you like, but I've got two. I think they were a thousand bucks each, which is a bit steep for a pallet. But yeah. Uh, and as the chickens lay eggs, the boxes will appear in these pallets. Obviously, once the pallets are full, uh, you can, if you've got the appropriate vehicle, which I have, that little thing over there, I've got a forklift pallet that attaches to that. Um, you can pick these up and stick them on the back of whatever and take them to the shop as is in the pallets. I uh, haven't tried it, so I'm not sure how that works, but it's kind of strange. When I went to the restaurant, I had singular boxes of eggs on the back of my pickup. And I picked them up, and I put them on the... It's like the drain thing that you park on behind the restaurant. And they kind of disappeared from my hands on this drain, which is very strange. Uh, and, but I got paid. I got paid. It, it was strange, but I got paid. So this was just a quicker way. And you haven't got to, you know, stack the boxes. They're being stacked for you as and when the chickens lay their eggs. Which they will do so long as you keep their feeding area clean. Which I do, as you can see. And the great thing is, I filled this with wheat once. That was, I don't know, coming up for a week ago. You just don't have to do much because obviously that's a lot of wheat for these little chickens. Uh, and they are reproducing. I think I've gained three or four black and three or four white so far. Uh, thanks to this little boy, really. Johnny Rooster. He's been a busy boy. So, yeah. Chickens, mods. Um, I like the mods because they're not cheats. you still got to buy them. And they're just improving how efficient you are. Like, for instance, I've got a lime station now, which saves me having to go to the shop to buy lime. So that, that little mini silo there is where I fill up with lime, and that's the lime that I've been buying, which I don't have to go and collect anymore, one by one. I've also got a, a little seed container, so I can stock up on seeds. And the one on the left is a fertiliser container. Again, these are mods. These are mods. You have to buy them from the shop. They don't give them to you. Um, it just saves you having to go to the shop every 10 minutes. <laughs> and then I've got two grain silos at the minute. One for canola and one for wheat. There. So, I'm starting to see a profit. I'm on 170,000 now. And if we quickly look at um, my stats. Let's look at the stats. You can see from my bank balance... Um, Thursday was a good day, um, but that was because I installed a mod called Government Subsidy, which apparently gave, I didn't realise, but it gave you $100,000 every hour, and after a couple of hours I realised that's what it was doing, and I was like, shit, that's, that's kind of ruining it for me. Not ruining it, in, yeah, it was, because it was like, I was enjoying the grind of, God, I'm always skint, God, I need to pay the bank back, oh, I'm getting charged with interest, I can't afford to buy anything, I have to lease, you know, and... I got some government subsidy money <laughs> and I was very thankful for it but at the same time I actually uninstalled the mod the same day because I just thought no this is silly because every hour I'm getting a hundred thousand before long I'm gonna have a couple of million what am I striving for what am I grinding for why am I growing crops I just I could just sit here and collect a hundred thousand bucks an hour and I checked the other day and I can't find that mod anymore so I'm pretty sure it's gone which is a good thing in my mind it's a good thing because I certainly wouldn't install it again Although I did use it to pay off my bank loan of $300,000. So, you know, easy come, easy go. But, um, yeah, today, look, as you can see, today on the right-hand side, my total income for the day so far, and it's barely 10 a.m., because I've been up all night logging, is 78000 bucks. So that's 40000 of that was selling 31,000 litres of canola seeds to the restaurant. The rest was in logging. Um, and as you can see, if I scroll down, sold wood. Yesterday, I made $57,000 selling wood. Today, so far, since midnight, bearing in mind it's nearly 10 a.m., 37000 already, because I literally have been up all night logging um, and enjoying every second of it. So my, my stats, which is, which is why I get away from things like that government subsidy mod, because now... 
it's down to me am I in the red or am I in the, the white and that's what I like about it is that uh, my harvest income look for nearly forty eight thousand dollars and that's just growing my own crops and obviously having to tend to the fields but it's my money because I earned that money it wasn't given to me by the government no so yeah that's just um, and this is what I was talking about this is a field I've just harvested of sunflowers uh, which I sold for a tidy sum I forget how much but this is um, the new area that I'm going to develop and again I make these videos for myself really because I like to see how I've progressed um, if anyone else watches it that's a bonus I don't ask for donations I don't want donations I don't have a, a patreon a GoFundMe. I'm not interested in your money I'm just a gamer that makes videos and I've been doing it for four years I don't do it because I want to be famous I don't do it because I want money or need money I do it for the love of gaming it's as simple as that so this is the field that I've created and believe you me there were a lot of trees here um, yesterday fifty seven thousand dollars worth today thirty seven thousand so I've made nearly a hundred thousand dollars in logging in two days game time real time and this is the end result a superbly clean field I've also used the landscaping mode to remove all the weeds and grass and I like to keep a little grass um, border around my field as you can see there because when I place, if I place another field next to it, it's like a dividing line so I can have crops on, say, some flowers on the first one, something different on the second, and the grass tells me which one, you know, that there's a divide. But I think I'm going to definitely get into, at first, pigs. I mean, I don't mean literally get into pigs, that would just be wrong. You know, wrong. Anyway, um, yeah, animals. I, I like pigs. Pigs create manure, and they're very friendly. Do you know they're very intelligent? actually more intelligent than your average dog well, that's not hard though is it really although I am a, a dog lover I prefer cats they uh, require less maintenance <coughs> so yeah this is my lovely new and just looking I mean this is just a field I know to you to me it's two long days of hard labor which has allowed me to have this clean area which was in the initial land area that I'd already bought but it was full of trees and it was no use to me I wanted to expand and the whole ethos of playing this game for me is expanding what I own and creating something new with it and enjoying what I've created and that's what I want to do so yeah that's the field the field of dreams mm. So, in a nutshell, really, I was just thinking, from, from this angle, this point of view, on the new area that I've cleared, you can see my farm in its entirety. This is it. And this is what I'm creating, and I started the game with no land, no buildings, no nothing. So everything I've done, I've worked for, bought, okay, the government helped me a little bit, anyway. Um, but yeah, that that's it. So that's just a little piece of the map, because I'm sure if you play this game, as you know, the, um, I like the way it auto saves for you as well all the time. The map is quite big and you can own any of this land and it's as simple as zooming in, clicking your left joystick, that's what I own. So as you can see, I already this is what I bought at the very start of the game, I bought this land and it include oh actually it didn't include field 19, that was the second little piece of land that I bought. Um, again with government's help anyway and that's what I've been doing correct so I've put two pieces of land together now if I wanted to this isn't available there's nothing there to buy but I've realized that these darker areas are all pieces of land that you can buy so that for instance is going to be a whopping 346,000 um, and if you wanted to take in this piece of land with field number 23 and don't forget you can that's field 23 but you could create a massive field right next to it it won't have a number no but it doesn't matter because you know it's a field because you're literally tending to it so that piece of land there is 152,000 there's a lot more logging opportunity and field creation there and then obviously this piece here is going to be a bit dearer 202,000 but um, for those of you that are playing, say you're new, and I'm relatively new, I'm a 100 hours in now, 
Um, if you're hit, most people, I think would start down here because this is where the game sort of leaves you, isn't it? Or it's it's affordable at the start of the game. Um, this little trek here, this little slope, that barn there buys wood. So if you want to make money immediately, I mean, I guess there are other ways of making money immediately, but if you're clearing an area because you want to create something new, which I've been doing from the get-go, that's a good place to sell your wood. As opposed to the sawmill, which is, I believe, way over here. Uh, and I enjoyed the few journeys I've made to the sawmill. I've even found a little shortcut that goes along this country road. But, yeah, it's a long way, isn't it? If you're trying... I've logged so much in one go, I literally, my vehicle was doing six miles an hour. <laughs> I was dragging so much wood. Um, and it's easier to just go up this quick slope from the farm to the barn. And the barn's always open 24-7. And I've made a, a little bit of um, a mint uh, producing wood for that barn there, which is good stuff. So yeah, that's the view of what I've created so far. Now, people get funny about mods, don't they? And I don't know why, because it's not like, oh, that's cheating, that's cheating, Ace. you should go to the shop. Who wants to keep going to the shop every time you need seeds? Come on, come on. And you're a farmer. You're creating something to make you more efficient. And you had to buy those silos. You had to buy those seed containers. Uh, and, and it costs you more money to fill up from those containers than it does from the crates. Either way, you're paying for the seeds. You're not getting them for free. You still have to earn the money to pay for the seeds. So I, I view it as I'm just becoming more efficient. I'm learning as I go. But this is what I like about this game. It's like I'm out here on my own. Literally farming, creating, landscaping, logging, and enjoying every bloody minute of it. I really am. I would not have said I was the sort of person, and I don't know what that sort of person would be, that enjoys farming games. But it's just everything about this game, the fantastic attention to detail, the minutest detail. Like, I'm going to show you. Now, this is one of my favourite bits of kit. Uh, it's um, a Karcher, Karcher Professional Cleaner. Uh, and it's as simple as clicking left three on it. Now, my, my tractor really isn't that dirty. But if it was... <laughs> the levels of detail. I mean... And it, and it, clean, oh, it cleans quite quickly as well. I've noticed those steps were muddy and they're not now. <laughs> well, the game lets you clean your vehicles. It's just, that is an attention to detail I really have fun with. Because I like keeping my, that these things cost a lot of money. This tractor was uh, not, not cheap. And especially with the customization of adding, <gasps> oh, bless me, the double wheels. Uh, and customising various aspects of it, you know, the, the make of the tyres and so on. And I just love the levels of detail. It's so spectacular, it really is. And even in first person when you're driving, say you're driving up and down to the shops and you stick the radio on, again, you're just immersed. Did you have a little break from your farming? You're off to the shops. I do miss the fact that there could be um, voice acting in the game. So say you went to the shops, you kind of interact with a shopkeeper or something that would have been kind of cool um, considering the levels of detail they've already put into the game so I don't quite uh, I'm not that immersed in going to the shops which hence why I've bought some uh, containers so I don't have to go as much because you're just clicking on an icon really aren't you it's not like you're going to the shops you don't speak to anybody you don't see anybody in fact it's a ghost town there are there isn't anybody there are a few vehicles around um, not sure where they're going because they just drive around <laughs> but there are no people and that's the only downside to this is that there aren't any pedestrians like in bus simulator that are crossing the road and you've got to be careful that will kind of add to it but you can't have everything I suppose talking of mods um, I mentioned them previously these machine sheds um, I've got a three door and a four door again you have to buy them from the shop you're not given them um, they're just an additional thing for you to buy should you install the mod and that's what I like about them um, and yeah these machine sheds they're so cool they're so much better than like I, I got 
at the standard shed over there by my house, it's pitiful compared to this, it really is. And it gives you a really cool place to store vehicles and equipment. And this is again, I enjoy doing this. I enjoy storing my equipment. So it's like I'm putting all my planters and cedars and so on in here. I'm storing them so the weather doesn't make them rusty. Yes. It's not really a thing, but anyway, it'd be good if it was. And I'll show you, one of the cool things about this is obviously these doors are all individual, as in so far as you can close and open them individually. You've also got, for night time, such a cool... It's only a little thing, but it's the little things, isn't it? It's the little things. You've got a light switch that puts the lights on. And that's a mod that you can install. Again, it's not a cheat. It's making the game more enjoyable. And that's what most of these mods actually do. They create an environment for you to enjoy um, with brilliant things like this. I really like these machine sheds. I haven't got the biggest one yet because um, I don't really need it. But when I need it, I'm definitely getting it. But again, as I mentioned earlier, putting them down is a thing in itself because I've got these little slopes here which I'm cool with. But they were much bigger because I didn't realise that you really got to watch your elevation height when you're placing things like this. And I tried to get everything on an even keel. Me being me, you know, I'm a bit particular, <laughs> for want of a better word. And all you've got to do is walk up to these gates and press circle. That's why I keep my harvester. And I actually did all this harvesting right, and then I pressure washed my <laughs> harvester and put it away. Because that's what you do, isn't it? <laughs> and it's not just a case of circle on the gate. You've got these switches here. These actually operate the gates as well. Look, they even light up. Why wouldn't you want this mod in your game? It's so cool. So yeah, talking of mods, machine sheds, the pallets for the chickens. Again, I reiterate, they're not cheats. They're just making the game more enjoyable. You've still got to earn the money to buy them. The game doesn't say, oh, here's a mod. You can have this for free. It's not. I think these are like twenty-five to $30,000 each. So you've got to make that money um, before you buy them, obviously. And it's just a cool little feature. There's so many, so many mods. So, so many mods. Uh, and I've not really gotten into I think I've downloaded and installed about nine so far and I'm not using them all like there's a swimming pool mod and a pumpkin to go on your porch <laughs> I've got to go to the shop and well I've got to buy those yet I haven't done that um, actual fact I might do that for this video but yeah mods making this game so, uh, this is such a good looking game the weather effects as you top right you can see a cloud icon it's telling me the weather forecast is going to be cloudy at the moment. I've had one day of rain where it literally pelted down all day long. Um, and I was logging the whole time. And I think it stopped at about 6pm. And the difference, I was so used to the sound of the rain. When it stopped, it was like, whoa, what's just happened? It was so cool. They've got the night effects so spot on. Like, obviously your vehicles, especially the harvester, they have a multitude of lights on them. But what's the point in that if it's not dark? You know that some games like Horizon Zero Dawn, fantastic game. But when it's dark, you don't need a torch. You can still see. This is inky black dark. It's proper dark. It's proper night time. It's one of the few games where I can say the night time is night time. It's not just an artificial dark. And I, I know what I mean. I know what I mean by that. And it really is again immersive atmospheric if you're logging at night you've got to pay extra attention to what you're doing but you've you've got cool things like all you got to do is press right one and circle and you've got your own torch so when you're walking around at night and you've got the vehicle lights your torch they've just got the lighting effects spot on they really have and the lights that come off of some of the vehicles like especially this harvest uh, the harvest is in the other shell isn't it Honestly, it's got a, a batch of lights on it at the front. And when you light up at night, honestly, it's such a cool experience. Driving this thing first person, harvesting with all those lights on. It is, oh, it is to be, but it is to be witnessed and experienced. It really is. Look at the detail in these vehicles. I can't believe that people find these games boring. What? It's not Fortnite, is it? 
it wants to play Fortnite. Let let the millions and millions of other people play Fortnite. I'm quite happy where I am, thank you very much. No one's trying to shoot me, calling me nasty names online, being toxic. I'm just farming and getting dirty. Don't you like getting dirty? Mm. I noticed as well, again, this is what I enjoy. I I'm learning all the time about what you can and can't do when it comes to cultivating, ploughing, sowing fields. Um, this little gizmo here, my um, I always get confused between planters and seeders, but both of mine kind of cultivate the ground at the same time, so I don't have to plough a field to replant. Now, if I wanted to plant, for instance, sunflowers, I would have to plough this field. I've just realised I didn't. I, I was planting what I thought were sunflower seeds, but they weren't planting. Well, they wouldn't, would they? Because the field's not ready. But this this gizmo here, this actually does it for me. So it fertilises, cultivates, and uh, plants seeds at the same time, which is fantastic. But that limits your options because um, I've got it on wheat. But you've got barley, oat, canola soybeans, oilseed radish which is great as well, I've been doing that uh, grass and wheat so I've decided I'm going to have all wheat fields um, instead of sunflowers for now um, because I'm also planning on getting animals in that field that I've created back there behind those machine sheds and they're going to need food and I need to collect that what will be hay and store it in my barn over there so when I do get animals I'm ready so I thought, let's grow some wheat. We can enable the straw swathe on the harvester after, but well, before we harvest. And then when you harvest the wheat, it lays down a whole trail of hay for you to come back round with your, um, I think, it, like I say, the loading wagon or whatever it's called. That thing over there by the barn. And that will pick up, as I drag it with my tractor, that will pick up all the straw, which I can then deposit into that barn and come to whenever I like to grab pieces of straw, hay, whatever and take it to feed my animals which would be so cool in the meantime I'm going to get going with this. this I mean look at the ground change I just I just enjoy that oh <laughs> I would do if I was actually doing it I'm not I forgot I haven't turned it on see what I mean I'm a, I'm a farmer I think that was a good one <laughs> but I'm getting there I'm learning I'm learning so make sure it's lowered Right, it was. Lower it. Turn it on, then go. Watch this. I love this effect. Look. <gasps> it's changing. I'm doing that. I'm changing it. I love that effect. Can't get enough of it. Anyway. So yeah, Safari to Goody, Farming Simulator 19, I am enjoying the hell out of this game. There's so much to do, there's so many cool machines to buy and to learn how to operate. There's so many ways to make your farm more efficient, to make the way you work more efficient. Um, I mean, I recently got that hay barn, didn't quite understand how it worked, I get it now, but I was creating bales, but apparently, um, well, you, obviously, you can't put the bales in that barn you need the the straw and so on that you pick up from say wheat crops um, in a in a um, I forget what they're called is it a loading wagon something like that it's this thing anyway so I had to go and buy one of these so basically I was picking up all of the loose straw and so on with this dragging that behind my tractor instead of using this the baler which is I lease this and I, I don't clean it because it's not mine what do I care? At least it belongs to them. It's not mine, is it? If it was mine, I'd wash it, but no. Anyway, this is mine. I keep this clean. <laughs> it's mine. Why shouldn't I? So, yeah, collecting straw. And basically, you deposit it here in this thing. It sort of sucks it up. And it goes into there and it stores it. Now, when you've got animals and you need bedding or food, you can come here and collect it. And then, I'm presuming, take it to your um, pig coop or whatever it's called. Uh, and feed them but you can't uh, I think I'm not, I don't know I'm going to discover whether you, whether you can feed them bales um, but I know that there's a problem with 
I can't remember if it's bedding or feeding, but either way, you can't store these hay bale. Well, I mean the, the hay bales, but one is grass and one is the leftovers from wheat, which is this. Uh, you can't store them in that barn. You actually can't. And it kind of makes sense now. It didn't at the time, but it does now. I actually bought it to store <laughs> these, um, but you can't. So in, I got a trailer instead and started selling them. But I've kept a few just in case I need them. But anyway, this video has been going on a while now. I just wanted to mention one other thing. Wood art. Do you like art? I do. I've been trying to create some things. So this I call starfish. It's not finished yet, obviously. And this I call Claptrap. If you played Borderlands, you'll know why. Mm. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio! Toodlepip!